So many of you ask me how I processed my vocals for my Hungry Heart song, and you were amazed at how I got similar results from different mics. Of course, some mics are better than others, but a little processing helped everything. Today, I'm going to show you how I process my vocals for that song, the exact plugins I use, and I'm going to show you how you can get similar results using some cheaper alternatives or even your stock plugins. For today's vocal recording, I'm using a mic by Austrian Audio. It's the OC18 mic. You're going to have a chance to win this mic, and I'm giving away two $50 Sweetwater gift cards as well, three prizes. To enter to win, leave a comment in this video and use the entry link in the video description. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I have tons of videos on my channel about music production and the latest music gear. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I always get straight to the point in my reviews and videos. So let's talk about Austrian Audio. The company was set up by a number of former employees of AKG. The OC18 has a capsule that's inspired by the same qualities of the classic AKG C. 414. The Austrian Audio OC18 is a condenser microphone with cardioid pattern and that awesome handmade CKR12 ceramic capsule. It has a negative 10 decibel and negative 20 decibel pad settings and a three position switchable high pass filter built in. It's excellent for vocals, you'll hear that in a sec, acoustic guitar, piano, whatever. It comes in this awesome case with a mount, a mic clip, and a windscreen. It's $700 retail, but you have a chance to win it. All right, let's get into how I processed my vocals. I'm gonna show you exactly what I used when I recorded the song for that previous video, but since I used UAD plugins, which aren't available to everyone, I'm also gonna show you two alternatives using Waves plugins, which are much cheaper. And then I'll show you how I used stock plugins, the ones that came with my DAW, so no extra money spent. Let's listen to the final version with the Universal Audio plugins, the way I had it in that previous video. Got a wife and kids involved in more jack. I went out for a ride and I never went back. Like a river, I don't know where it's flown. I took a wrong turn and I just kept going. Everybody's got a hungry heart. Everybody's got a hungry heart. They time your mind. Okay, so my UAD plugin chain. First, of course, I have Auto-Tune, and you'll see my settings here. I just keep the default settings, but change the retune speed to 37 for this song. Somewhere between 37 and 32 is pretty decent. I have my EQ, and I did a low cut and a little bit of a high cut to adjust the brightness a bit. I have the Universal Audio LA-2A, and this is just doing some gentle compression. Next up, I'm using the 1176 plugin by Universal Audio. I'll show Show you how to set up the 1176 the way I did. So you add the 1176 in there and then you right click it, click on group, then you click the button in the middle that shows you the chain list. Once you have the chain list, add a, another chain. So I just right clicked and click create chain. So now I've got the original vocal with no effect on it and the one going through the 1176 and I can mix the two. This is kind of similar to sending this to a return track in Ableton, but now I have it just for this one plugin. So from here, I can adjust it accordingly and you'll see that's what I did right here. So I have the dry vocal here and I have the 1176 here and you can see my settings for the 1176 now. Without the 1176, let me let you hear what the vocals sound like. I met her in a Kingstown bar. Fell in love and knew it had to end. Now with the 1176 added in. I met her in a Kingstown bar. Fell in love and knew it had to end. Now let's add the next plugin, which is the Waves DSer. I don't have a DSer from Universal Audio, so I use the Waves DSer. The next plugin I use is the Universal Audio SPL Twin Tube Processor. This adds some saturation and harmonics to it, and you'll hear it really make a big difference as soon as I turn it on. I met her in a Kingstown bar. Without it. I met her in a Kingstown bar. 
back on. I met her in a Kingstown bar. The last thing I added was the Sound Toys plugin Echo Boy Jr. to give a slap delay. I met her in a Kingstown bar. All right, let's try it again with some cheaper alternatives to UAD plugins. I'm gonna use Waves and Sound Toys and some stock plugins. You can usually get these plugins at decent discounts. I'll try it again with stock plugins in just a sec. So now we're listening to the Waves recording with all the processing in there. Without the music. Kingstown bar. Let's compare that with the UAD. I met her in a Kingstown bar. All right, back to waves. Here's how I processed my vocals. Started again with auto tune, same setting, and pretty much the same EQ setting as well. The next plugin I use is RVox, and I absolutely love this compressor by Waves. If you buy one Waves compressor by RVox. So this is doing some gentle compression in there. And then as soon as I add in the 1176 by Waves, now this 1176 is using the same settings that I used with the Universal Audio, so you can kind of compare the two. So remember with the Universal Audio, I used the LA-2A and then the 1176 on top of that. With Waves, I'm using RVox and the 1176. I met her in a Kingstown bar. Bell love and knew it had to end. Now, of course, the volume got louder, so it is sounding more forward already. But also listen to it in the mix without any of the other effects on it, and already it's going to be cutting through. So just those two compressors make such a huge difference. Without the compressors in there, you hear the volume of my voice going in and out a lot. Next up, I added the Waves Renaissance de as well, same as I did on the last version. I added a little bit of EQ to bring back some of the high end a little bit. Then I added a little radiator by Sound Toys. This is kind of doing something similar to the SPL twin tube processor by Universal Audio. So it's adding some harmonics. I met her in a Kingstown bar. Then last I add delay. And this is using Waves H delay to just get the same type of slapback delay. I met her in a Kingstown bar. Bell love and knew it had to end. So the full Waves vocal chain is RVox, CLA-76, Renaissance de Little Radiator, and H-Delay. All right, let's try those same vocals with the plugins included with Ableton Live. If you're using another DAW, you can just match these with your DAW's stock plugins. I followed kind of the same structure of the vocal chain as I did with the other two. Let's compare that with Waves. And with UAD. All right, so back to Ableton. Let's go through the plugins that I added here. Started with Autotune, then EQ, kind of similar to the other two. Then I just used the stock compressor. And there was actually this uh, compressor setting called Mix Gel. Let's add the parallel compression, just like I did with the, with the Waves and the UAD versions. And I'm using the preset Brute Compression. Next, I try to mimic the saturation that I got with those other plugins by UAD and Waves well, UAD and Sound Toys, and I use the Hot Tubes preset. It's just a little bit of drive. And then I use the stock delay to give that slapback delay as well. So here's the final version. I met her in a Kingstown bar. Let's compare that with Waves. I met her in a Kingstown bar. And UAD. I met her in a Kingstown bar. Let's hear what the Ableton stock plugins sound like in the mix. I met her in a Kingstown So there you go, three options to process your vocals. Thanks for watching and thanks to Sweetwater and Austrian Audio for doing the giveaway with me. Keep making the music you love and go enter the giveaway and then watch one of these videos. Everybody's got a hungry